and mad. This is probably uh, my fault in not mentioning narcissistic personality disorder as the pathological condition and narcissism as the quality, because officially that is what narcissism is with healthy self-regard on one end. Like I said, so yeah, that may be an error on my part. Uh, but then again, I would still say that if it's always studied as a pathological condition, uh, I'd rather not include healthy self-regard in narcissism. I would include it in high self-efficacy. So, yeah. If the community at large uses a word a certain way and the medical profession uses it a different way, it's not the community that's wrong because words are defined by their use, not by what somebody says. I made this point in another chat room as well. The problem with that is, is there are multiple different things that are being called narcissism. So it does come to a space of sure, maybe the actual diagnosis of narcissism, narcissism can be changed to something more obscure and medically compliant that most people can't pronounce. Um, but what people are lumping under narcissism could be a variety of different things from uh, dementia to various cluster B to ADHD to a whole host of different things just because of adverse coping mechanisms or complete misunderstanding of what the actual traits of diagnosed narcissism is, narcissism is. So that's why I say, and I've been trained to say narcissistic traits, because narcissism is an actual diagnosis that differs from what culture is putting out there. And the culture is uneducated for the most part in this. And even narcissists abuse the term narcissism to call someone who is completely not narcissistic as one, just, you know, part of the manipulation and shaming paradigm to keep control. There's a kind of humorous meme or idea that, you know, the problem with being stupid is that you don't know that you're stupid and no level of ex explanation can help you understand that you're stupid because if you were smart enough to know that you're stupid, then you wouldn't be stupid. And I found in family members and others, the same is true of narcissism is you could explain in detail the actions and the words and the seeming motivations uh, of selfishness to a narcissistic person and they would not understand even if you explained it perfectly because to them their selfish actions were actually for you and uh they would turn it all around and and as some of the discussion has been is that intentional or is that unintentional i think some of it is unintentional and an inability to see unwillingness inability at some point those things meet in the middle but a narcissist the problem with the narcissist is if they were able to see that they're a narcissist then they would not be a narcissist and unfortunately it takes that level of self-awareness to even recognize it and they don't have that this also reminded me something about narcissists and this is the three things that narcissists fear first one is dealing with the consequences of their action second one is being called out and the third one is being embarrassed. There are actually quite a few self-aware narcissists. There's one who is a TikTok creator. And then I have actually met one in person. And what it comes down to, even though they're self-aware, they will share about it. They still cannot defy their brain patterning. Also, I can't remember if it was uh, Brittany or Prankachan, but it reminded me that at this point in my life, as soon as I hear somebody talk about their spouse or somebody who's a narcissist after they looked at something on the internet, immediately the eyes of my heart are rolling. And I'm wondering to myself, 75% chance it's this person, if any, who has narcissistic tendencies, because it seems to me that it's narcissists are constantly diagnosing other people with narcissism. Yes. And that's why it's such a tricky thing because, you know, don't forget that even a normal person can adopt narcissistic traits when going through a traumatic phase. 
And of course, narcissists exasperate trauma. So it, it lends itself to being very tricky, which is why it really does take a professional diagnosis to say, hey, this person is a, nar- is a narcissist. And why, you know, it's very dubious when the public just automatically decries that because they also pit people against each other. There's a lot to it of how it's the term can be misused. 